Elsewhere, a Gary, Indiana toddler died this morning after being shot in the head at her mother's home. But police tell CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli they aren't sure what happened. He's live at police headquarters in Gary with more on what we've learned. Vince. Rob, police have identified the little girl as two-year-old Jayla Miller, and they've been questioning two adults ever since her death. They include the little girl's mother, who's 22. She's still being questioned here by Gary Police, and also that woman's 39-year-old boyfriend, who's been transferred to the Lake County Jail. The charges have yet to be filed in part, say authorities, because the circumstances surrounding this death remain murky. First and foremost, this is the story of a young life lost. Two-year-old Jayla Miller, dead from a single gunshot wound to the head. Did that child pull that trigger or did someone else pull that trigger? That's the big question at hand. We were at Jayla's maternal grandmother's house today when Indiana Child Protective Services, according to police, took the little girl's siblings, ages six years to three months, into their care. Jayla's paternal great uncle is now helping to make funeral arrangements. Man, she was a beautiful little girl. I mean, she was just two. She just started her life. Jayla was shot several blocks away in this Gary home last night, where authorities say the girl's 22-year-old mother lived, renting a room with her 39-year-old boyfriend. Both were at home at the time of the child's shooting, and police recovered a small gun. But we're seeing if it's an accidental, if it was an intentional, um, if it was a self-inflicted. We're not too sure. One of the three. Authorities were called to the scene just before 7 last night. Jayla was originally rushed to a nearby medical center, then helicoptered to Comer Children's Hospital in Chicago, where she later died from her injuries. A girl killed by a bullet, but just how, is still unclear to investigators. Right now, it's, it's very fluid, and uh, we're not too sure who is responsible for the weapon going off. Now, Rob, police tell us that the handgun that was recovered in this case is small enough that a toddler could have fired it. Prosecutors say they expect to announce charges by tomorrow, but at the very least, according to police, the two adults in this case face charges of child endangerment and neglect. Reporting live from Gary, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Okay, Vince, thank you.